All right, guys, so we got to talk about the mainstream liberal media reaction to the Marjorie Taylor Greene 60 Minutes interview that, in my opinion, was <laughs> very entertaining, to say the least, okay? Because Marjorie Taylor Greene dropped a bombshell on these liberals' heads by saying the quiet part out loud about the Democrat Party's agenda when it comes to pushing certain ideologies on kids, okay? Uh, and she did not hold back, right, in regards to how she described the Democrat Party, right? And um, again, liberals were already upset with the fact that 60 Minutes decided to have Marjorie Taylor Greene on the program to feature her. They feel like they're giving her a platform. And of course, you know, they don't agree that political opinions that are different than their own should be platform that people should hear any uh political opinions that are you know opposed to the liberal slash progressive agenda so i want to react to the views reaction of this uh interview between 60 minutes and martin taylor green because it really is just a prime example of how these people really don't believe in freedom of speech they believe in echo chambers they don't believe in actually hearing other people's opinions because Again, they, they, they're they afraid that people might actually be convinced that what Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying is true, especially when it comes to, again, some of the more radical uh, parts of the Democrat Party and the agenda that they're pushing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into um, the view and their reaction to the Marjorie Taylor Greene 60 Minutes interview. The seminal primetime series program, 60 Minutes, is getting major backlash for last night's interview with Marjorie Taylor Greene, which gave her a platform to make the claims that she makes like this one. Take a look. The Democrats are a party of pedophiles. I would definitely say so. They support grooming children. They are not pedophiles. Why would you say that? Democrats, su Democrats support, even Joe Biden, the president himself, supports children being sexualized and having transgender surgeries. Sexualizing children is what pedophiles do to children. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Before we begin into this, bruh, that clip will never get old to me, bro. Like, that's probably one of the greatest clips in American TV history right there. Marjorie Taylor Greene just telling it straight, telling it straight <laughs> on 60 Minutes about the Democrat Party. So let's see what the view's reaction is to this. Uh, nobody should be surprised in regards to how they react to this. Do you agree with critics who say the show <laughs> is helping to legitimize her ridiculous rhetoric? So, you know what's funny? You know what's hilarious about this? is how they call the rhetoric ridiculous. But she doesn't push back on what Marjorie Taylor Greene actually said. She's not engaging in the actual conversation, like the actual claims. Because the question really should be, um, what do you think about Marjorie Taylor Greene's claims about the Democrat Party, right? That's what the question actually should be. It should be a discussion about that. But she automatically dismisses Marjorie Taylor Greene because she doesn't like Marjorie Taylor Greene as a person, right? Instead of actually addressing the claims. I don't think it legitimizes her any more than her words embarrass her, but I think it was, um, I actually am in this instance, think it was a bad move for 60 Minutes. Mm -hmm. And let me just clarify one thing from that soundbite. There are people that say, if you're not a gun um, owner, you talk about guns, you sound dumb. She sounds really dumb veering into LGBTQ plus because transgender trans affirming um, procedures are not about sexuality right. or sexual orientation. It's about gender. So the fact that she doesn't even know the difference, she probably shouldn't speak to it at all because it's insulting to everyone involved. Yeah. Um, Sarah Haynes, you actually sound dumb. You actually sound really dumb. I'm going to tell you who really sounds ignorant when it comes to this subject. Democrats. Okay. They're either ignorant. Okay. Or they're being willingly <laughs> ignorant, right? I mean, that, that's just what's going on here because um, she's sitting here pretending, like talking to kids about sex, having them undergo uh, sex change operations, having them be exposed to uh, male strippers. She's pretending like that's not sexualizing children. That is sexualizing children, right? And you're insane if you don't think that's not sexualizing children. By definition, when you're talking to kids about LGBTQ issues, you're talking to them about sexuality. 
LGBTQ is about sex because it is about sexuality, right? The same thing, you know, it would be if you would talk to kids about, you know, being straight, right? You're talking to them about sex, okay? It's the same thing. So again, you the one you you the one that sounds ignorant on this issue, Sarah. Not Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene actually sounds a little educated on this issue because uh, she stated all facts in regards to uh, what the Democrat Party support. They are in support of the radical left extreme agenda. Agenda. It doesn't matter what it is. They're for kids being exposed to male strippers. They're for kids uh, chemically or physically castrating themselves before the age of eighteen. Therefore, teachers being able to talk to kids about sex and gender. Therefore, all that stuff. There is nothing on the radical left, the radical left, progressive, woke gender agenda that the Democrats don't agree with. They agree with all of it. And by definition, that is sexual woke. Okay? So again, she's trying to act like Marjorie Taylor Greene is ignorant, but she's actually the one that's ignorant. And see, that's what really frustrates me about these shows. And that's why I love the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene went on 60 Minutes. It's because a lot of people that watch these type of shows right here, The View, they're so misinformed about what's actually going on and what Democrats support because of stuff like this, right? When she's just trying to pretend that, oh, well, it's about gender affirming care. There's a difference between gender and sex, <laughs> right? And this is why they need an actual real conservative on the show, right? To, to actually set people like Sarah Hayes straight and say, no, 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 let's actually get into the real conversation here. Are you trying to tell me that pushing for kids to have their genitals cut off, you, you think that that's not sexualizing them? That should be the real question. That should be what a conservative is asking her. But again, we all know that's not going to happen here from uh, the fake conservative, uh, Lisa Ferry Griffin. But I also think she's not consequential. So when we talk about platforming people that uh. Donald Trump, a president, someone that you kind of have to deal with mm -hmm. or you're truly not addressing it, Marjorie Taylor Greene was elected in a super small Republican district. And from her election in 2020, she lost 60,000 votes in a very small election. But what about the stuff that she did with Kevin McCarthy? That's right. How about yeah, well, and she did. She got on committees. But would, would you argue that the people on those committees, it's not singly her making these decisions. She's one no, voice but it's, it's, it's more than that. The reason, I think the reason, listen, I think the reason people are upset at 60 Minutes is because it's such a respected yes. program. Leslie Stahl is such a respected journalist. And so people hold them up to a high level and this is not the level that we expect no. of them yeah this is hilarious to me and the reason why is because they're trying to pretend like 60 minutes <laughs> they have such a high standard for journalism right they have such a high standard for journalism you mean like the time that leslie stall basically uh lied and said that the hunter biden laptop couldn't be verified uh just for cbs to come back two years later and to verify it it's this i think it's one of the biggest scandals i've ever seen and you don't cover it Biggest. You want to talk about... Well, because it can't be verified. You want to talk I'm about insignificant you. things. I'm telling you. Of course it can be verified. Excuse we, me. We they found the laptop. Them. Leslie, it Leslie. can't be verified. What can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Because Even the family verified. hasn't... The family on the laptop, he's gone into hiding. For five days, he's gone into hiding. He's preparing for your debate. Oh, it's taken him five days to prepare? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So let's get back to the name calling. Or the time when Trump basically claimed that he was being spied on, right? His campaign was being spied on. And Leslie Stahl was like, no, that's not true. Even though it was confirmed by the Durham report that Trump actually was being spied on. So the biggest scandal was when they spied on my campaign. They spied on my well, campaign. There's Leslie. no e real evidence of that. Of course there is. No. It's all over the place. Leslie, Sir, they spied on my campaign and they got I, caught. Can I say something? You know, this is 60 Minutes, and we can't put on things we can't no, verify. You won't put it on because it's bad for Biden. We can't Look, put on things we can't verify. Leslie, they spied and, on my campaign. Well, we can't verify It's been totally that. verified. No. It's been, just go down and get the papers. They spied on my campaign, they got caught. No. And then they went much further than that, and they got caught. And you will see that, Leslie, and you know that, but you just don't want to no, put it on the air. As a matter of fact, I don't know that. Okay. Yeah. So again, I just laugh when these people pretend like 60 Minutes is the pinnacle of journalism. Okay. Like their standards are so high. They don't have any standards, right? Their standard is whatever the Democrat Party wants. Okay. The liberal propaganda, that's the standard. 
feet. But to your point, the person who has elevated Marjorie Taylor Greene is Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. She was very loyal to him. She stuck with him through the 15, 16, 17, 28 votes that there yep. was to make him yep. speaker. And now she is far more relevant. She is far more elevated because she is one of the top lieutenants of the Speaker of the House. But not yeah. relevant but, enough to go on. Well, I don't think to pick her. I think you are platforming. You are giving her a louder microphone than she deserves or has earned. I don't have well, I mean, here's the thing, man. She's a congresswoman. Right. I mean, if a congresswoman can't go on a television show like 60 Minutes to do an interview, then I mean, <laughs> what, what's the standard here? I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, she is a lawmaker. OK, I mean, again, th these people, again, it's almost like they just don't believe in freedom of speech for people they disagree with. They just don't believe in it. They're just like, no, no, no. You can't platform that person. You can't interview that person. You can't talk to people that we disagree with people might get convinced that they're right, right? <laughs> That's the problem here. I have a problem with her having that platform because I thought she looked like an idiot. Um, and I think a lot of people got to, as per my argument of cameras in the courtroom, let us see what you have to say. What I, and I hate to do this because I think Leslie Stahl is, is such a great journalist. I wanted pushbacks. statistics and pushbacks. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you say that? Who have you heard say that? See, here's the thing. No, you really don't want that, right? Because here's the thing. If Marjorie Taylor Greene actually bought the receipts, okay, which she should have bought the receipts, okay, if she bought the books, uh, they probably wouldn't let her air it, right? And I wish she would have. I wish she would have bought the books. I wish she would say, oh, wait, so you don't think Democrats are the party of they're, they're trying to sexualize children? What is this, right? What's this? Here's the book. Oh, oh, you can't let me put this on air? Why not? Oh, well, because it's too explicit. Oh, if it's too explicit for 60 minutes, you think that this is supposed to belong in school? Again, you know, <laughs> be careful what you ask for. That's all I'm saying here. What about this statistic? What about that? I mean, you know Leslie always got a book full of receipts. <laughs> Where were they? Where were the receipts? And they weren't anywhere. Yeah. And it was very frustrating. I feel like it's a little bit of a chicken or egg discussion. We highlighted this important study by this group Starts With Us a couple weeks ago that said that oh. the most partisan members of Congress get four times the coverage yeah. of the ones who are actually bipartisan trying to get things done. So it's like, Can I do this oh yeah, okay. MTG is in our public consciousness. She's been, you know, mocked on SNL. She's a staple of it. Everyone knows who she is. She's a household She's name. Done. But her actual, like, authority and power our voting power, legislative yeah. power in Congress is pretty small. Thank and I, I agree, part, like Kevin McCarthy has elevated her, but there yeah. are so yeah. many more powerful members actually trying to deliver for American that could need American to be public. seen. Yeah, and so we just highlight the worst actors. And I agree, I like Leslie Stahl. I was a little disappointed there was less pushback. She's, I, and she's some, good. She's yeah. a very, very sound journalist. I just, See, here's the problem. The so-called conservative is supposed <laughs> to come up here and to say, hey, you know, Let's look deeper into some of these claims that she's making about the Democrats, right? Are Democrats actually out here sexualizing children, right? See, that's what the actual conservative is supposed to do on this show, right? But see, they hire Alyssa Ferry Griffin, who, in my opinion, again, is, a, is, a, is basically a liberal, okay? Um, they hire her to pretend to be a conservative while never actually defending the conservative argument. And that's what's so frustrating about this show, right? It's like, bruh. All you got to do is just bring out one of the books and say, hey, look, for you guys to say Democrats aren't sexualizing kids, what do you think about this book? You think this book should belong in school? All she has to do is do that one time. But see, if she did that, she wouldn't have a job, right? If she actually pushed back, she wouldn't have a job, right? If she pushed back as hard on these cackling hens as she's asking Leslie Stahl to push back on Marjorie Taylor Greene, she wouldn't have a job. Right. I want to remind people uh, that that woman uh, says she's a protector of children, but she wants more guns in school. Right. Mm. She saw the Parkland shooting as a false flag. She said, oh, no, somebody on my team did it. If it's on your stuff, you've yeah. seen it, you're aware mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. She suggested that Nancy Pelosi be hung for treason, and she agreed with the post mm. that she... that. No, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to say it. Uh, this is a, this is the nature of people making decisions for your life, and it might be a very small area. She's so dramatic, bro. This is so dramatic. This is so dramatic, man. Again, man, this is just an example of how these people 
Again, they don't want to have debate. They don't want to have discourse. They believe in just having an echo chamber. Uh, only people that agree with them should be elevated to these platforms. Nobody else. And um, again, the meltdown over Martin Taylor Green going on 60 Minutes and 60 Minutes and <laughs> actually having her on the platform shows you everything you need to know about these people, right? They, they really don't believe in hearing other people's opinions that are different from their own. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.